something very strange is going on with Tesla right now because Elon Musk negotiated a contract in February of 2018 with Tesla saying, look, I don't need you to pay me anything. If I'm able to grow the company, which I'll give you the detail, I want to get paid X, Y, Z. And for him to do that was insane because at the time, Tesla was the most shorted stock on NASDAQ 100. 22% of the stock was shorted at a time where the average was 3.5%. And this guy said, no, no, don't pay me anything. They're like, no, we have to pay you something. Fine, pay me the minimum wage. $37,000. This guy hasn't taken a single penny of his salary, $37,000. It stays in the account. All he's been waiting for is if I blow up Tesla, even though nobody in the marketplace believed this is possible, I want to get paid big time. The big time money for him is 50 to $56 billion. And the shareholders, guess what they said when they voted? What do you think? You think the shareholders said we should pay him or we shouldn't pay him? 73% of shareholders said at the meeting in favor of paying Elon Musk what they negotiated years before that. But the judge, Kathleen McCormick, appointed by Governor John Carney, the governor of the state, Delaware, Joe Biden, they're both Democrats, said in her ruling that the court has the authority to remedy corporate transactions regardless of whether or not a vote is legally mandated. Delaware, for the longest time, was the state where a lot of people wanted to get their businesses incorporated. I've done it myself. Now they're saying, no, 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 we don't have to pay you anything, regardless of the amount of risk you took, Elon Musk, regardless of all those sleepless nights, regardless of how many more people you made wealthy, you don't deserve the pay. And that's right now in court, and we're going to talk about that today. All right, so if you give value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. Here's what we're looking at, like I told you earlier in 2018 while he's negotiating with us with Tesla. And I'm going to read that part to you here in the purple. Tesla stock was being shorted 22.6 at an average of 3.5, which was the number in NASDAQ 100. Tesla had $7.2 billion in total recourse debt on its balance sheet. That was up around 42% from December of 2016. And it ended up with $3.3 billion in cash and cash equivalents. Moody analysts downgraded their credit rating on Tesla to B3 from B2. Concerns about the company's ability to hit its production targets for Model 3. Cash burn was a concern. There was so many things that people were saying and then musk in 2018 musk's all or nothing pay deal was initially approved by tesla shareholder in 2018 and the firm agreed to give the ceo up to 304 million shares in return for achieving certain profit and revenue link milestones including raising market cap ready in 2018 tesla's worth 59 billion dollars his pay was this guy's going to increase it to $650 billion. Who the hell in the right mind thought this guy's going to do when it's being short at 22.6%? This many people. Think about it. There, there's no way this is happening. This guy's delusional. They're not going to hit their numbers. This is ridiculous. And then even in their letter going out to everybody, you're a shareholder, you get this, February or March of 2018, Elon will receive no guaranteed compensation of any kind, no salary, no cash bonuses, no equity that vests by the passage of time. Instead, Elon's only compensation will be 100% at risk performance award, which ensures that he will be compensated only if Tesla and all of his shareholders, stockholders do extraordinary well. The award consists of stock options that vest only if Tesla achieves specific milestones, which is fully achieved would make Tesla one of the most valuable companies in the world with a market cap of at least six hundred and fifty billion dollars more than 10 times what it is worth today shareholders got this march of 2018 after it's negotiated february of 2018 imagine you negotiate this and afterwards they're like no no we got to pay you thirty-seven thousand dollars like dude i don't want the thirty-seven thousand dollars look at this paper here in 2018 may 3rd tesla's disappointing earnings highlight problems in scaling production here's the next one for you december 27 2017 this is two months before you negotiated tesla's make or break year 2018 will test Elon Musk's USA Today. Next one for you, March 14th, 2018. This is after he negotiated his deal. Tesla employees say automakers churning out a volume of flawed parts requiring costly rework. Here's another one for you, January 26, 2018. While he's negotiating his comp plan, Tesla employees say to expect more Model 3 delays, citing inexperienced workers, manual assembly of batteries. I can go on and on and on with all these stories. But you know what ends up happening? Is one of the top three individual shareholders of Tesla, he owns roughly 23% of all shares, 715 million shares as of December 31st of 2023. His younger brother, Kimball Musk, owns roughly 1.6 million Tesla shares. And then Jeffrey Straubel holds 276,000 shares, worth around $55 million. And then the top three shareholders of Tesla are who? 
Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, they own a ton of shares of Tesla. And this guy says, guys, if I go do the impossible, I'd like to get paid in a hefty way. This is what it looks like. Take a look at this chart real quick. Okay, look at 2018. The navy blue on the bottom is how much net income you're making. What does it show you? In a loss. What does the red show you? It's 21 billion. Go down to 2023. What does the blue show you? 15 billion net income. What does the red show you? Nearly a hundred billion dollars. This man is owed up to $56 billion after 10 xing it. And a judge out of Delaware, this sweet little judge, Kathleen McCormick, appointed by Governor John Carney, friends with Joe Biden, is saying, no, we're not going to pay it to you. Even though the shareholders want to pay you, we don't think it's a good idea to pay you. And by the way, for a lot of people that are saying, well, BlackRock, Straight Street, Vanguard, all this stuff, they're the ones that are pushing their weight. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. Elon owns more shares of Tesla than those three combines. Individually, collectively, they own less of Tesla than Elon owns individually. Individually. That's a big deal right there. Now keep this in mind, it's like, oh, you wanna get all this money because you wanna flaunt it, right? It's what you wanna do. And he says, this is in, in 2018, he says, I actually see the potential for Tesla to become a trillion dollar company within a 10 year period. Think about it. <laughs> he says this then. It's a $50 billion company that's shorted 22.6%. It was a trillion dollars. Like, this guy's freaking delusional. Who do you think you are? You're like P.D. Barnum is who you are. You know, illusion of success, but it's all fake. You don't know what you're talking about. And by the way, he says, if all that happens over the next 10 years is that Tesla's value grow by 80 or 90%, then my amount of compensation would be zero. Meaning if I only double it from 50 billion to hundred billion dollar company, I'm going to get paid nothing. And he took it from 50 to over 650. And now this judge wants to say no, a little ridiculous that the judge now gets to say, imagine you go and negotiate a contract with your company. So look, don't pay me salary. But if I grow the company right now, we're doing 50 million a year. But if I grow to 650, I want to get paid 56 million dollars is what I want to get paid. And they say, yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, great. You good? You good? Everybody in the board shareholders say, yeah, yeah, we want 73%. Say yes, you're going to get that. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you. I've hit my numbers. Can I get my $56 million check? Oh, we're all for it. Then, then what's the holdup? This local judge says we can't pay you. What would your reaction be? I actually want you to think about that. And forget about $50 million. Say it's $500,000. You're working for a company they pay you zero. You say, if I do X, Y, Z, I want you to pay me $500,000 six years from now. And they agree to it, but the judge says, no, how would you feel about it? It doesn't matter what the number is. We negotiated this contract. And in capitalism, the shareholders agree that I should get paid this. Then a judge in Delaware, because that's where the company is incorporated, is holding this up. This is pathetic. You don't call this capitalism. By the way, they ask him, they say, why do you need to make this kind of money? He says, the reason why I want to make this kind of money is because I have some major aspirations in my life, such as none of it's intended for dynastic wealth creation. The reason that it's important to me personally is that there's some big things I want to do. I want to contribute as much as possible to humanity becoming a multi-planet species. Do you believe him? Do you believe that's what he wants to do? I do. Many do. But they want to hold up the money. So, frustrating, yes. But now you know why Elon hasn't yet gotten paid his 50 plus billion dollar money that he's owed by the company because of one judge named Kathleen McCormick appointed by the governor, John Carney, of Delaware. For what it's worth, if somebody's watching this right now and your accountant or your CPA or your lawyer says, you should go ahead and incorporate your business in Delaware. Think twice. Go to a different state. Kathleen McCormick doesn't like capitalists. Avoid that state. They're not fans of yours because even if all of a sudden you're going to get paid big money, they could potentially come in your way and say, uh, 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 you don't work for yourself. You work for me. I'm the judge. I'm your boss. You don't get to get paid big money unless I approve your paycheck. Man, that would drive an entrepreneur insane. So Delaware is no longer a pro-business state. It's quite regulatory today, ran by one judge, Kathleen McCormick. I hope it changes, but as of right now, it's lost a lot of credibility for entrepreneurs around the country. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you've never seen the video we did about the latest FTC ruling for non-compete, if you've never seen it that they're going to start enforcing, I believe in August, click here to watch the video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye.